So, are we ready to start? Uh, yes, I am soon in the screen where I have to pick player one or two. Which one do you want to be? Um, I don't know. I'm just press the start and it says this is a two-player adventure, solo, not an option. Okay. For best experience, don't look at each other's. Good. Uh, you can click, drag, spin, and use the mouse wheel to explore the world. Oh. Uh, if you're calling through on the online chat, we recommend you use Discord. We are using Discord. Check. Okay. Now, uh, player one and two. I want to be two. Okay. That's good, because I, um, I tried the game earlier to see if it would run, and I chose player one, because I didn't have anybody to play with, and I already kind of saw what player one starts with, so... Uh, better this way around. Okay. So, start. Loading. Okay. Yep, I am loading too. You received a package from someone called Amelie Brown, and your friend got one too. I have the text that says, Today you and your friend received two strange packages, each contained an old clock. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, I can explore now. I, I can just go up and down. Okay, let's see. I have... Uh huh, go on. I have like a desk. I can't see anything besides what's on a desk here. Okay, yeah, me too. I have a desk. I have a clock that does not look very old. I mean, I guess it looks old from today's standards. It's like a yeah, the uh, digital um, alarm clock radio, maybe? Yep. If you scroll down, you'll see a clock that says... Or at least this is what it says for me. It says Larke. And the second letter is like an A and an E at the same time. Like Larke. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, I guess that is, uh, there will be an umlaut A in German. Uh, 1917, 1937. Uh, mine says Amelie. Uh, like the movie, except two A's. Amelie, not Amelie. And 1915, dash. It looks like there should be another uh, year, but there isn't. Okay, uh, it's probably 1937. Anyway, and then the I have a letter that says, Dear Player 2, I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up. Mine says, uh, Dear Player 1, this clock is part of a game, a gift I made for my sister. To have a fighting chance, play with a friend and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her. Emily. Okay. So, in the package you must have some type of news article that has been caught on the right side. Right? Uh, wait, I have a cardboard box and... I have a left side of yes. an article, because the header is Another Disappearance stri Strikes Our Village mm, Thank you Shall I start then? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sorry uh, By Mark D. Hansen I think it's the reporter mm -hmm. The youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Larke like you had on your clock Good. Uh, was reported missing yesterday her sister Amalie told us she had last seen her at 10.30. Understand understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. Contact, if you have seen or heard anything unusual, please contact the police. So wait, what happened? Can you read it again or tell me? Um, youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, uh, uh -huh. the same name as on your clock, is remissing, and um, her sister Amalie, like I have on my clock, says she had last seen her at 10.30. And you have... Uh, how much later? Uh, an hour and a half later. So, okay. noon. 
or I guess, is it PM? I wonder. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if it. I mean, I have a photo here. Um, okay. I have a picture. It's of a small uh, two-story house. And it has a skylight, and under the skylight it says, I I wonder how to pronounce this. It says Raven's Clocks. It's oh like yeah, Raven without the e. Yeah, Raven. Uh, that's the name of that's the name of um, Amali Amali Raven. All right. Okay. Um, my sign doesn't have the e though. Yeah, it, no, it didn't have the e when I when I said it. All right. Um, I opened the clock, like I had this pocket watch, uh -huh. not the digital clock that I have above, but the old clock. Uh, how, you can how, open it, I think. How, did, how do you open it? I dragged the lid open, like you click it and then you drag to the left. Oh. Let me know if it works. Yes. Thank you. Um, oh, I can move it. Like I can make different times. Yeah, so I wonder if we need to put the clock to uh, 12, like 10.30 plus hour and a half. Maybe. Was it? Was it hour and a half or? Hour and a half, yes. Uh, my memory is Kirby. So I, I put mine on to 12. Okay, I don't know if this is correct, but I, I shall put mine to 12 too. And then... Wind, right? Uh... Oh! Is this happening to you too? Uh, mine spiraled. Like, I it made a black hole or something. Yep. And mine says, Chapter 1. Lerke went missing in 1937, but it all started years before. Mine says, this is a copy I made of the world that Lerke and I used to know. Okay, it got me back to 1927. Uh, me too. And the time is like 12. Yep, same. Oh, and I can like... <gasps> This is nice! And yes, it, this can give you motion sickness a tiny bit. Don't spin too hard, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's that's two things I'm worried about now. <clears throat> now I'm worried about motion sickness, but I was just going to say that uh, I forgot to uh, look at the time that was on the digital clock that I had on my desk earlier. I really hope that does not come into play. Oh no, you're completely, you're completely right. Anyway. Let me describe things to you. First of all, mm -hmm. I see like a bus, like a bus stop, that has kind of a, like a game, like a weird game on it, uh, on the side, and it has a very strange like figure, on the on the bottom part of the game, which there's a crown, and a stick with wings. Yeah, I have the same. Then if I go right, there is a house. With a very fucking big bird on top. Holy moly, that's a freaking huge bird. Oof. That's scary. That's too big. That's like a, that's like a pigeon. Okay. It is the same size, even though it's closer to me. So in this game, there is no perspective. Then I have a... Uh, uh, a road. Like, to, if I go right, I have a road that leads to a well. If I go right, I have the Raven's Clocks, like the store. And that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I think I have all the same things. Mm -hmm. Except I'm looking at the house and I can't see a bird. I wonder if my screen is too dark. No, no, no. The bird, the bird, <clears> is, <throat> the bird is flying around. And all right. No, no matter where I am, it it goes randomly to all the places that I am, and it's very big and it's and it's like a, a white. Oh, I haven't seen the bird. Okay. Anyway, um, 
I I was trying to see the bird, and then I clicked on the house, and I can go inside it. Uh, and there's something I cannot tell what the hell this is. Like I can't tell if this is a children's game or what. Okay, I got in the house, and I have the children's game. Like it, you can spin the wheel. Like I have a red wheel that you can spin clockwise, and it's okay. I kept spinning, and it it's it. Uh, snorted out some letters, like some short words, I guess. I'm still spinning. Um, what does it say? Wait, uh... Now I want to stop it spinning. Like, I guess I spun too fast and now it won't stop. This is annoying. Let me see if I can go back and go back in. Because it, it's kind of making a noise. I guess I can't stop it. Oh well. <clears throat> okay, mine says, I, you, your, turn anticlockwise, blank times, then twice, twice, keep it, oh, do, let. Does this make any sense to you? I have no idea. Does it say, like, turn how many times anticlockwise? I, like, I I can tell there are some words missing, but what does yours say? I have nothing. I, I haven't done the thingy. Like, I keep spinning, but it doesn't open. Open what? Anything. Nothing happens. I keep spinning. Okay. Uh, it, it seems like, like I have blanks between the words, so maybe I need to find the rest of the words, or...? Uh, maybe you have to help me to open this, because I don't know how. Yeah, but I don't have the... rest of the words, I mean... Uh, there's some blanks between the words, okay. Uh, there was a lamp, and I clicked the lamp, and... Uh, it completed the sentence. Okay. Now it makes sense. Lurker, I hope you like your present. Turn it anti-clockwise three times. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Clockwise twice. One, two. Anti-clockwise twice. One, two. Then keep turning it clockwise. Oh, and do not let go. Uh, I am turning it clockwise many times. It says not to let go, so that's all I can tell you. I think I did something wrong because this is not working. I'm gonna go out and come back in, and you you sure. tell me again, please. Yep. Okay. Ready? Yes. Anticlockwise three times. One, two, three. Uh huh. Clockwise twice. Uh huh. Anticlockwise twice. Uh huh. Then keep turning it clockwise and do not let go. Um. I think we're stuck already, love. I have no idea what more I could do. <laughs> Here, at least. Am I doing it correctly? What is a clockwise and counterclockwise anymore? Uh, anti-clockwise is if you look at the top side and you turn it left. Like if you grabbed the top side of the wheel, then you would turn it left for anti-clockwise and right for clockwise, I guess.
Um, this is not working. Can you read the instructions once again for me? Sorry. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, turn it anti-clockwise three times. Uh huh. Clockwise twice. Uh huh. Anti-clockwise twice. Uh huh. Then keep turning it clockwise and don't let go. I am doing that. It's nothing happening. There's nothing more I can do here. I am really sorry, but I'm gonna Google this. I, I, I cannot... Am I an idiot? What is going on? Uh... I have a question. Yes. This is random, but do you have a lamp? Like a light bulb? Uh, no. Alright. That was a, just a, mine then. I have a birdcage. Have you... Can you do anything with the birdcage? Uh, not really. It doesn't seem that I can do anything. Alright, uh, it's just because part of mine was that first I needed to turn the <coughs> uh, turn the wheel to reveal half of the words, but there were blanks, so first I thought you would have the missing words, mm -hmm. but then there was a random light bulb on the right, and I turned on the light bulb and then just revealed the whole sentence, so I wondered if you had another part to your puzzle too. Jack in a box. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the puzzle, each player has three shapes locked in a three and they need to be changed, simply communicate with each other. Ships. No, wait, what? Are uh, you sure? I have nothing resembling symbols here. Wait a second. Turn right. Use the instruction from prayer 1 to open it. Anti clockwise, clockwise twice. Wait. Uh, so it is anti clockwise three times, clockwise twice, anti clockwise twice, and then can turn it clockwise? Yes. Just a little white piece of each other. It says the same. The, the guide says the same, but why is it not working? Am I, I am confused. Mm. Well, you already have the instructions. Uh huh. And there's nothing more I can do here, so I'm gonna go check the other places. Like. Okay. Mm, I think I think it would be weird, but maybe we needed to do the game thing or something. Like maybe we needed to do something else first. What do you think? Now it worked. I don't know what I okay. was doing wrong the, the previous times, but now it worked. All right. Sorry, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's I, fine. Maybe maybe when 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 it said like uh, keep turning it clockwise, I I I did it too fast and I missed it or something. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, now the uh, the jack in the box came out, and I have a paper. Did okay? Did you have a paper? I have nothing, and um, this, well, we played. We were here just mm -hmm. recently, and in that game, our games would interact with each other. Like we are not connected in any way in this game. No. So just because something happens for you, uh, it doesn't change my game. Makes sense. Well, I have a paper that is like half uh, some type of snake game. We can come back to that later. Okay, wanna do uh, s some of other, other the other puzzles? Uh, like the only one I looked at so far was the bus station we arrived at. Oh, oh uh, the the clock has changed. It's now two for me. Oh, nice. 
uh, I think my part of the puzzle has to do with uh, with the bus station. Okay. Be because in the in the game in the bus station, it does seem you you see the you see the game when there's like this little train have... and squares. Yeah, I have six squares um, vertically and eight. Oh, eight. horizontally. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a little train is on the lower left-hand corner, and I have three arrows with which I can Indeed. move it. I, I cannot move it right, I can move it left, up, or down. Uh, okay, so we need to think. Uh, with the jack-in-the-box, we got uh, half of the puzzle of where to move it, so we need the other half, and we need the bottom to put in the thingy, I think. Okay. Mm, okay. Then I guess we can't do this one yet. Nope. Let's go to the well. I am at the well. There's okay. really nice lanterns on the way. It's pretty. Yeah, but this is a scary. I'm inside the well for some reason. I need to climb down at least. I'm getting flashbacks from... Uh, we were here when I was imagining you climbing out of the well like the girl in the ring. Hmm. Cute. Okay, at the bottom of it, I have different shapes. I have uh, six, I guess, six symbols, and on the there, uh, three of them are on top row, and three of them on the bottom row, and I guess underneath three of them I have buttons, and under three of them I just have this like stud. Uh, it is the same for me. Do you have buttons on the two on the sides on the top row and the middle of the bottom row? Yes, exactly. Good. The top left is a triangle um, colored, like black. Sick. Uh, is the triangle like pointing up? Yes. Got it. Um, top row center is a circle and it's white, so... Just the line and blank inside. Good. The top row right is a white triangle. Okay. Mm, bottom row left is white square. Uh, it's the same in the middle. Okay. And bottom row right is a black ball, black circle, I guess. Okay. And I'm gonna try the lever. Okay, seemed correct. It opened. And I have a button now that goes right, but I don't know how to grab it. Um, you just click it twice, I guess. Yeah, I have it. Thank okay, you. we did well. Very. No. And then the last one was the store. I guess so, but it says it's only open from 3 to 9. Mm. Wait, it is 3. Yeah, my clock at least moved after we did the... Yeah, minus 3 too. But it is not open yet, for some reason. Yeah, I can't go in either. Well, I put the, I put the button on the thingy. Maybe now? I'm gonna go put mine. Not yet. If you if you click the bushes, they move. Yeah, I noticed. I was wondering, like, is this one of those games? If you click the bush like twenty times, is something gonna come out? Maybe. But you can you can click any bush in the game, so that's gonna be annoying. You can click the lamp too. Makes a sound. And also, like the wheels. Like the cog wheels that are around the clock store. They make this thudding noise. Hmm. It's actually kind of annoying because um, if you can interact with something, then I keep thinking that there has to be something. So now I need to try every bush in the game. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, two up, four right, two down. Two 
two up, four right, two down. Uh huh. Sorry. Okay. I think I think I'm wrong. Oh, okay. Uh, it should be three right. Uh, I was counting four as in like four squares, but three times you move right. Wait a second, I'm gonna see it again. Yeah, I was right. So I guess two up, three right, two down would be the the uh, correct way of saying it. Okay, now I moved. I clicked um, up twice, right three times, and down twice. So as a result, like I have two squares that I skipped completely. Yes. On the top. Yeah, Wait. so now my train is on the fourth square from the left, on the bottom row. Yep. But nothing happened, so I guess we need to... Like you said, that you have half of it? Uh, yeah, I have half of it. We need the other half. Yeah. So, nothing happened when I did just this. Yeah, we need to get in the store somehow. Yeah. I keep hearing the birdie. Do you think I have to do something with the birdie? Come here, birdie. Come. Is it going? I turned my volume kind of low, but I don't think I have a bird, and I think I'm hearing like a uh, clock ticking, which is kind of unnerving. Um. I wonder what we have to do now, for the clock to move. I mean, it's three. The clock shop should be open. I don't know why it's not. Hmm. I don't know, it's three for me too. No, wait, it is not three anymore. It is two now. Why is it two now? I don't get it. Is it actually three for you? Uh, for me it's now four. Wait, what? How does that work? I can get into the shop now. Wait. Wait a second. <gasps> this is silly. I get it. Wait. It is wrong for me, because when you spin around houses, if you spin to the right... Oh, freaking hell. I fucked up. What? <laughs> I was... I was spinning to the right, and I... 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 I click on the... On the recording. And... Uh, And I dragged it to the right, and now it's out of the recording thingy. Uh, what is out? So... Wait a second, please. Sure. Uh, basically, it has a problem with, uh, with my recording. Take your time. Uh... Okay. It should be good now, sorry. Okay, so, as I was explaining, if you sp if I spin to the right, I make the time go forward. Oh, okay. So, now I'm able to get in. I, s I spin so many times in the beginning that I fucked it up, I think. Okay, I'm in. Right. And I see some type of clock, I think. Mm, my oh, guess was that I have a radio, it is maybe? A ra it, is a ra it is a radio, you're right. Oh, when I, when, I, when I move the thingy, I see letters moving. Yeah, if you stop at certain points, the, they settle down and they form a sentence, at least for me. Okay, right. Okay. If I stopped... Uh, very near the left part, like, and on the left part it says 525, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I stop in the first thing that appears, 
it says missing, but it has three points before that, so I guess it completes your sentence. My first one is, last month the police started getting several reports of pet, pets going. Missing. Mostly all cats and dogs. Let's hope they are all found soon. Okay, I'm going to find the next one. Uh, the oldest raven daughter, Emily, is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling uh, of one of her creations. This is something, some, uh, uh, a bug came down the stairs for me. Like, um, and it has this yeah. thing on, it, on its back and, and uh, uh, that looks cute. Yeah, it was like, I wasn't sure if it was a mouse or a cockroach, but I saw that too. Yep. So... The... next one? Mm -hmm. The Raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. To be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. Another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's. A uh, sweet old farm dog. Remember to lock your doors until this thief has been caught. Sorry, my face is covering the, the, the cute thingy that fell down the stairs. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless. Birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the... Construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the Raven family. Let's hope for her sake that it will not uh, go missing like those other pets. Hmm, let us hope. Wait, what 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 has been attached to her? An unusual white raven. Oh, that's attached to the youngest member of the so I guess, was it that Emily was the older and the one with the weirder name was the younger? So Maybe. I just... I gave, I, gave, I gave life to the thing that went up the stairs. Yeah, I saw mine earlier and I clicked it and I think it just went up. Yep. Uh... So yeah, I, I've seen the White Raven. Also, if you go up, you see so many clocks. I don't think I can. Let me try. Like, how do you go up? I can click the... You can... I use... click the stairs, but nothing happens. Oh, you... shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what I remember is uh, March and something was... 18? Was that the date Se or the time? 17th? When they... the construction or something? Yeah, I wasn't memorizing. Anyway, uh, there is fe white feathers on the next floor when I go up and there is uh, a piece of news that is on a, like on the wall it says news um, Wednesday edition hmm? yep go on in Raven's clock shop you can buy all kinds of clockwork request commissions and get your old clock repaired today grand opening of clock shop the world-renowned master, Mr. Raven, has opened a new clock shop in our town. He has he is said to be an interesting char. That's it. I mean, you have to continue it. I mean, where did you find that? On the wall. If you go all the way up. If I go all the way up on the wall, I have a calendar, and I have to change. Uh, I mean, the year is set, we're both on the same year, but I have to set the day of the week and the date. And I really thought you said 18, but which one of them talked about a weekday? I already forgot. Um, uh, probably try Wednesday. Okay. 
wood scrolling. 18 and try a Wednesday. Yeah, I'm figuring out how to move the day. Okay, yep. It opened. I have a half of the grid that goes into the bus stop, I think. Oh. And I have a bunch of other stuff. Well, let me figure out how to I how do I grab the Well, I guess you have to go do it so I can explain it to you from here. Like I can't I don't think I can take the <clears throat> Um, instructions for the bust up puzzle into my inventory. I have to read them to you from here. Yeah, I, I didn't take them. I just memorized them. Yeah. And um, the calendar cabinet opened. I have here um, books on watchmaking. Oh, one that says, oh, I don't even know how to pronounce this word. It's either longitude or longitude, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to latitude. And I have some items that I don't think I can grab or interact with. I have like um, a dreidel and a, a dreidel. thing for drawing, a thing for drawing circles on the paper. What do you call that in English? A uh, compass. No, not a compass. But I mean, you use it in geometry. You put the spike onto the paper, and then the other side will draw the circle. Isn't that a compass? Uh, I mean, I thought that a compass was just what you use to navigate, but... No idea. Who knows? And I have here Gulliver's Travels and the Nightingale. Okay. But I don't think I can grab anything out of this cabinet. You don't think you have a, the, the bottom part of a piece of news? Not here. Okay. And I went below that. And I have a roll, like it could be a roll of tapestry or something that's on the floor. Mm -hmm. But I can't do anything to that either. Like, I mean, I can click it and it hops a little bit. And yeah. there's like, I don't know, fireflies or something flying around it. So it really bugs me if it does nothing. I have, I have two feathers on the floor. And I can click them and they jump a bit, but that's it. Yeah, I have like a roll of tapestry that does the same. Do you think and that if I tell you where the feathers are, it will matter? I don't see anything else that I can interact with. Like, mm, I looked at all the clocks and I can't change the times, I don't think. But, um, I mean, the one thing that we can do is for you to complete the... Okay. But, no, then again, um... Even if you complete it, I have to complete it too, and I just have to memorize how this goes. Yes, you have to memorize it. Mm. Three up. No. Oh, I guess you one right from the previous one, and then three up. Okay. Uh huh. And two right. Mm -hmm. One up and one right. It made a sound. Okay, I'm gonna go to mine and do the same. And then there is uh, the train. We can continue. Freaking Raven! If mine doesn't reveal the rest of the news article when I do this, then I have no idea what we're doing wrong, what I'm doing wrong. I mean... I don't think so it was... Um, hmm? From where you are, right, three up, two right, one up, one right. Yeah, it made a sound, kind of like a train. And the train is here. Shall we proceed? Uh, I, I'm slightly concerned, like... You wanna go back to try to find the letter? 
I mean, I guess we can try to continue if you'd prefer. Like, I, I can't see what I could have done. You should... Do you think I missed it? I think you missed it somehow, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back and look. Okay, let's okay. try it. Uh, the, the feathers and the... So if you go all the way up, there's this window that is circular, right? No, mine doesn't. I mean, I, I can see it from the outside. Okay, what I can you... see that the house should have that, but I can't get to the window. You cannot go all the way up? Okay, so I start at the radio, right? Yes. And I scroll up, like the stairs. I can't go up the stairs, I'm just scrolling up the wall. Yes. I see um, that the stairs say probably private. And yes. I see four clocks. Mm -hmm. But I, let me try again, but I don't think I can interact with any of the clocks. And when I scroll up from the four clocks, I get this like, I think I'm entering the attic or something. Like, uh -huh. I think I'm getting to a different floor. On the floor, of the floor, uh, weirdly, there's a scroll that jumps a little if I touch it, but I can't grab it or anything. It's like a roll of tapestry. Can you not, like, uh, slide it? No. Like, uh, it, it, it's not the size. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think it's the size of, like, an article. I think it's this is, like, a tapestry that should, could have been on the wall. Also, when I click it, it makes like, like a very uh, heavy sound. So I, th I don't think this is a newspaper clipping or anything. And if I scroll up from that, mm -hmm. um, I had a calendar. Okay. And I we solved the calendar and the cabinet opened. I had the piece of paper. I have here Gulliver's Travels, Watchmaking. Longitude and the Nightingale, the books. And then I have three different tools. Uh, one thing that I have no idea what it is, it could be a frigging salt shaker, maybe. All I know is that it has like a wooden part and a metal, metal part on top of it. I have a dreidel, I guess, or maybe it's a cog. It could be a cog wheel, I can't tell. And I have a bottle. And they all make noises if I click them, but I can't grab them or interact I, at least i can't figure out how can, can and you i like... cannot hmm? Hmm? you cannot drag them either i cannot drag them and i can't scroll further up i wonder if the fact that there's two freaking feathers in, on the floor is relevant yeah, we haven't played the game for long, so I can't tell like which things uh, we are supposed to be able to interact with. Like the scroll on the floor, it does bother me, and um, maybe yeah, all I the think tools I... that make a sound, but I can't grab them. I think the scroll on the floor is the one that should be. But I don't know what to tell you. It's like I tried clicking, dragging. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you in what spots of the floor the feathers are, and maybe you can click on those spots. Okay. So, uh, if you count from the left to the right, you you know that, that on the floor there's like lines, you know, like um, wooden planks. Yeah, I counted twelve planks. Good. So, the the first uh, feather, I guess is on the top part of the 3rd, 4th and 5th plank from the left and the other feather is on the top part of the uh, two, three, four and 5th planks from the right Does that help you in mm. any way? I clicked the top parts of all the planks, and by top you mean like furthest from you, right? Yes. I clicked on them, the ones on the um, left don't indicate that I did anything, there's no sound or any indication that I interacted with them. Mm -hmm. And my scroll is on the, well, second, third, fourth and fifth 
plank from the right. So when I clicked on those planks, um, it makes the scroll like hop a little bit. Like it jumps and it makes a noise, but nothing happens. Okay, you wanna cheat? Mm. We can cheat or we can go check out the train, I guess. Uh... But then again, may maybe the newspaper article is just like flavor. So maybe we could continue the game even if I don't figure this out, but I, I would rather not miss it, so. Mm -hmm. If you have the guide open, then please. Uh, hmm. Maybe it, it is nothing. Um, uh, it's unusual. Raven seems attached to the youngest member. Well, it, this guide doesn't say anything about that, so I am guessing that the only important thing about that news was the Wednesday part that we used. Yeah, oh well. Oh well. Well, we may proceed to the train, I guess. <laughs>